Really big, uh, really big plans with the uh, with uh, the stream for Let's Go, you guys. You gotta make sure you check it out. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be awesome. It's gonna be pretty awesome. So Stuff good. that literally Melee's never done. Stuff that no one's ever done. Like this combo from Daniel. It has never been done before. <laughs> Is Daniel gonna get another $200? Yeah, the, la the last time these guys played uh, Falcon Pika, Daniel won two hundred dollars. That is true. Is the last time they played? Yeah, they didn't play. We oh didn't yeah, yeah, that's right. Because Park was out for CEO Dreamer. There you go, Daniel's down here. Park, Park, that up here. Oh, it wasn't zero percent Falcon. Never mind. Oh, get wrecked. <laughs> Hashtag clip of the week. Yo, so Daniel might might be barkier. He beat him last? Yeah, he beat him last time. It's been done. Daniel, but it's not like the first that he's taking either, you know? Like before the bounty of Daniel had one set against against Bark. He's you know, beating everyone in Baltimore. Why won't this let me? Oh, yeah. I suck. It is a very formidable Falcon, although Bark, Bark's pretty good at this matchup. You saw at CEO Dreamland, he was really close to uh, taking the set on Alvin, but then he just dropped it like that. Oh, nice reverse. That was actually a really nice reverse back here. I'm trying to decide if that helps at all. Oh, uh, I think it's it just sets up for a, it just guarantees the stock. Like Falcon can di enough to at least get the distance to get back. So Pika needs to either get back like, get a quick edge Why guard. is it better than an air? Uh, not more knockback. Is it? Yeah. So basically, like like you do the the reverse back air to up air, and it's like a guaranteed stock. Well, you know, nair up air, Falcon di's in enough. You have the sweet spot to confirm the kill or get back quickly, which is still really hard to do, and then get like a down tilt or something. So that was a that was a big one for Bark. Not really crisp this matchup. Yeah, I like what he did there. He jumped out, not intending to actually hit Daniel, just to like force him out so he could hit just sweet spot and grab ledge. I see Bark do that a lot. Got really good at the edge guys. Hey, I forgot to tell Soto to get rid of the. There's the another reverse back here. Register nice. Register let's go. Register for let's go message. Was that? I forgot to tell Soto to get rid of the. Oh the yeah, yeah. Can't, can't register anymore. Don't try and register. Yeah, it's registration closed. But if you want, if you want, shares lots of emails. Yeah, if you want to register, you have to message me, and you'll probably, probably just tell you no, you're an idiot for you know not registering during the deadline. Um, very special exceptions have been made, but only under extreme circumstances. And unlike any of you guys to have it a shoot chance that you guys are gun point. Yeah, bad neutral be a bad neutral's bad at close for edge guardy Falcon. It works like one out of ten times and you feel good about it. Yeah. <laughs> well it's not too bad when Falcon's covering away because it does like cut off half of his recovery. It forces him into his position, but Yeah, they're so bad against Falcon up and just kills it. Falcon W beats everything in the game. <laughs> and Ford's match is a terrible edge guard. I don't know if you can even follow it. It's the worst. You're just gonna get back. Oh, nice one over there by Bark. Let's get underneath that. Calls him. You think he's missing? This is the second one smash he's missed on Bark? I mean, that was like two in a row right there. Yeah, cause he, well, he had the one down there on the oh, left, grabs on the left side of this flat stage, on, right next to the ledge, oh, and then right. he had that one up there on the platform. That's gonna be two for Daniel or for Bark. Game one was close, but game two, uh, Bark had control the whole time.